G'day and welcome to the channel. My name's Dave. Uh, today I'm working on the couch cut again. Um, sorry the last few videos have been pretty average uh, and it's been a fair while since I've touched it. Uh, I've had a lot going on around here um, trying to get this place sorted out a bit better for working. Uh, it's taken a fair bit of work to get there and I'm still only probably 75% there. Uh, but there is a lot at the end of the tunnel. We're getting there. Um, so originally I was going to spring the base using uh, the same springs that you use on the base of your seeds. Uh, that would have been quite expensive and I had a couple of old seeds sitting out the back and the actually one of the front seats I had for my car looks like it should fit quite well. Um, it probably isn't going to be perfect, but it should be a lot more comfortable than the other couch I built with boards and foam. Uh, at least this will have a fair bit of spring to it and yeah, should pretty much feel like sitting in an old car, which is what I want to achieve. Um, yeah, having the look and the feel would be awesome. Anyway, enough blabbering on and we'll uh, get something done. Right, cheers. I'll be jiggered. I think that's actually going to work. Don't laugh if I fall. Oh, one little problem I see. The uh, curvature in this front panel of the rear panel of the car doesn't match the seat. Um, I think if we can raise it up a little bit and move it forward, it should cover it, uh, especially once all the padding's on and the uh, material. But honestly, I think it looks better than the other seat that I've built. And I know it's a damn sight more comfortable, even without padding on it. Um, now I've just got to work out how to make it mount for it. Because I cut all the floor out in there, didn't I? We'll get there. Oh, see what can happen here. Now it's a wee bit low. I do have some other wheels to go underneath it, which will jack it up another 50 mil or so, which hopefully should do it. Um, I'm going to keep playing around with this and just see what I can do. The seat back's up too upright for my liking, but I'm still going to cut that back piece out. And I've got to make it so that these two pieces pull out before you bring it through the front door. Um, Every couch I built, I've tried to make it so that it can fit through a standard front door, uh, which can be a wee bit tricky, especially when you try to keep the looks. Uh, I think I can do it. In all honesty, it's just the curvature of where the boot lid shuts at the front of, yeah, at the front of the boot opening. That's the problem. A uh, wee bit of angle grinder action should fix that. Uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Oh, cheers.
Sometimes something simple is the easiest way to do things. I tried it with the Sharpie because uh, of the shape of it. Didn't really work with what I was doing there. Uh, but a bit of engineer's chalk. Perfect. Uh, just goes to show you don't have to have the biggest and the best. So it looks like the couch won't be quite as deep as I thought it was going to be. Um, that's alright. Mainly because the bumper bar's still got to go down below your feet. Uh, you don't really want to be sitting there with your feet on the bumper bar to actually sit on the damn thing. So I'm going to keep going from here and see what I can come up with. Uh, seeing as it's only balanced on wood and the backrest at the moment. I need to come up with some sort of mounting system. And the problem is it's raining outside right now, as you can probably hear. Uh, lovely Queensland weather. Uh, anyway, I want to see what else I can come up with for you. Cheers. It's going to need some work, but it looks like I can do it with the back seat pan and the um, parcel shell. We'll find out, but it's looking good so far. It's actually really comfortable too. Uh, now, the cover comes down and sits underneath here, so I'm hoping it'll pull forward enough just to sort of run along this edge, which I've still got to clean up and make smooth. 
Uh, obviously, if I'm going to have um, material running across there, I don't want it uh, ripping on sharp edges like I've got in some spots. Uh, but that was only ever tacked together. It's um, been a bit lazy on this project. Uh, being the third one, it uh, gets a bit tedious at times. Uh, but when they're done and they look good, it really is worth it. Uh, don't know whether I'm going to have to raise it now that I've done that with the seat, but I'm not sure that I'm happy with it sitting so high. There's ways and means of fixing that. We'll see where we go from here. Okay, so I've been mucking around with this seat on and off. Um, haven't done much recording, but the basic idea is that this base isn't really a problem but the back for when you're trying to get it in and out of a house needs to be removable. Ideally, I wanted it so that I could just leave the base in, flip it on its back and sort of maneuver it through a doorway. Because uh, most houses, you, you're going to have to get through a standard doorway somewhere. Um, all of my ideas were proving difficult. Um, so I ended up just using the original frame. Oh, I'm attempting to use the original frame for the seat because uh, this is actually a front seat, not a back seat, uh, which means it's a little bit more narrow and it almost fits. I'm going to have problems where it curves around into this area, down through here, and it actually gets narrower towards the, the back of the seat. Uh, so the the boot lid opening opens the opposite way. Uh, so I'm trying to work out that, but at this point in time, I'm more worried about making that seat frame fit. Um, everything else I can adjust later. Uh, may mean cutting out some of the framework I've already done. Uh, possibly cutting this all through here, and moving it out on both sides. I'm trying to avoid that because it's extra work, uh, but it is what it is. You've got to work with what you've got. Um, I probably could have found a better, better fitting seat, but I had this one sitting out the back. Uh, it came out of the car that I built the original couch out of. So, we'll see. Anyway, I'm mumbling now. Let's get some work done. <laughs>
not sure. I think it's working. Definitely needs some more thought. But if I can mount this seat in this position firmly, I think it'll work. Excuse me, my rusty shirt that barely fits. This is a lot of what this is. Spending time looking, sitting, moving, just adjusting things until they look right and feel right. That bumper might, oops. That bumper might get in the way at times, but I don't really feel like doing another old pan. Might not be perfect, but I think I can make this work. I didn't really want the seat this high, but it's actually nice being able to rest my arm up on the fin. Hopefully there'll be some more soon. And I will try to explain a bit better what I'm doing as I do it. Because uh, I noticed the last couple of videos I did were pretty average. Hope you enjoy it anyway. Cheers.